Hey guys, what is going on? Blistered Blood here with another one of these fabulous commentaries that you all seem to enjoy from me every once and again whenever I decide to make time out of my busiest fuck schedule and whatnot. So apparently, after a rather splendid orgy I was in with the likes of Mr. Sir Raven, Highlander 360, Phoenix Angel Gal, and many more, I happen to have noticed on this one douchebag's channel that apparently he's finally decided to upload the very same video that he was going to upload. You know, this supposedly funny guy or whatever he goes by these days. Oh fuck, I can't seem to keep track of names, but enough about me. On with the video. And stopping here because of two things. Funny guy, your choice of music is absolutely appalling. I mean, really. Dubstep? It couldn't have been something a bit more classical like, say, uh, I don't know. What, what can make this better to listen to? I'm so mad that everything- Yeah, this one sounds a bit better. But before we continue, let's address one certain thing he mentions here. Beautiful voice? You serious? Let's listen to an older video of his and see if this actually holds water. Actually, it doesn't matter if it's a bandwagon, especially when you commentate on it like a million fucking times. My, my, my. He does have a rather angelic-sounding voice. Truly, we must be dealing with perhaps a godsend of talent. Wait, I know who this very well could be. He's the next coming of Justin Bieber, isn't he? If that's so, then here's the hoping you release something better than what his latest track record of, record of songs has been over the years. <laughs> In all seriousness, however, this guy is literally delusional to believe he has a voice worth listening to. But we're getting off track here. Let's resume. I'm so mad that everything just turns bad. It's because I never been so glad. My life just becomes so sad. I can't face my fears when I never look through mirrors. My money is just so gone. I'm gonna become so done. This is a bit of a head scratcher for me because, as it reads on your channel header, it says that you might quit, implying that something must have happened at some point where you fucked up so bad that you began to question your own validity within this community. Somehow, something caused an eruption of suck somewhere that was so bad that you must have really gotten your ass reamed for it. But unfortunately, I can't account for what happened, nor could I even speak of the for all those involved with that incident. Surely you must have done something to piss someone off. Also, I'm loving the fact that all the second point is was nothing short of a no-you argument. Clearly, we must be dealing with a master of literary arts, ladies and gentlemen. Money is just so gone, I'm gonna become so done. You know, I'm beginning to notice a bit of a pattern here. I just can't quite put my finger on it. Yet. And this will no doubt bite him in the ass later. I'm dead certain of it. I throw him in the joint. Cause things sometimes that I never get the rolls. My dog just comes to me and just drools. In all actuality, your debating skills were called into question several different times up until the point where your incoherent ramblings proved to be nothing more than what you would have heard from a group of chimpanzees gibbering and howling at each other. I wonder how you even master the complexities of the keyboard anyway. Just braiding all day long, just making a song. Ah, uh, yes, my lovely little comment that seemed to have whizzed right over that bulbous little head of yours. For those of you who are not 4chan veterans, the use of those symbols before the aforementioned words are a little thing called green texting. In this, the user who made the previous comment had either said something that was so unforgivingly and mind-numbingly stupid that the person who's issuing the reply takes little snippets of what the previous person said and cuts it down to a few key words of what was said previously, then issues a statement of some type or, or another, usually through an image or in a highly sarcastic manner. Funny guy. Why you no understand sarcasm? 
I saw the humans at the pip and nothing's just Germans treating Americans like dogs. They are just a bunch of dogs. I threw the movie away and everything seems to not to be not okay. I know the word so much I learned less than. I scared of women so sexually and I just smoked mess in. I have a new cat, his name is Justin. I tricked a man one time he was in a band. He found a dollar bill, he went, but he wasn't part of a mill. I'm so mad that everything just turned bad. It's because I've never been so glad My life just become so sad I can't face my fears When I never look through mirrors When it, my money is just so gone I'm going to become so done Wait a minute Something didn't exactly add up in that comment You know Unless a Phoenix Angel gal somehow has a penis, then I think you just completely failed Gender 101, dude. Oh dear, sounds like we're none too book smart, are we? Remember, you eat pudding with a spoon. My cat named Tommy comes in the room to the list of our new cat, Justin. But then he says that he wasn't surprised that, that it was a gorilla named Justin. The well, since you wanted elaboration, like some retarded knobhead would ask for, simply put, your comments on this video were so filled with blind egotism, a severe lack of sentence structure, grammar, and were so absolutely ridden with AIDS and pony fagism. But then again, this still leads me back to an original point I had made earlier, where I had questioned the, the legitimacy of your ignoble birth. May I suggest removing yourself from society? Besides, no one is willing to listen to a delusional retard with an ego that's bigger than their hairy nutsack. Oh, by the way... The chair is broken, a burglar think it's a dope gang, but then he was joking. He calls himself the Joker, then he plays a game of poker. I'm so mad that everything just turns bad. It's because I've never been so glad. Remember when I mentioned offhand earlier that I knew this was forming a pattern and that this was going to bite him square in the ass for it later on? Well, it seems as though that we finally come to the source of the problem. From what I've gathered based on that generic statement of yours, it seems as though that just because you're 13 seems to tell me that we shouldn't be picking on your grammar, your lack of of sentence structure or even tell you flat out that you're a fucking self-appreciative delusional knob-headed fart-knocking goat-faced four-eyed retard with the intelligence quotient of a goddamn sponge but then again sponges would have more common sense than this idiot so we're gonna have to use something a bit different how about you people where would you rate this guy in terms of iq post your choices below vote now vote often and most importantly vote fairly It's become so sad. I can't face my fears when I never look through mirrors. My money is just so gone, I'm gonna become so done. I love how he's trying to flip this back onto Alejandro or a Grotange here. The sad part is, though, the OSC he did got him nowhere still, much like how this video in its entirety is still getting him nowhere. Is that so? I've already inspected your channel, both of them, and it turns out that you did just that. It seems to me that you're pulling a SAS PD-22 out of your ass with the frequency of the videos you pump out and on the subject in question, but once again, I must stress the point to where it'll finally make all the sense in the world. SAS is slightly entertaining, at times. You, however, are on another level of suck that I haven't seen in a long while. I am trying to find just stressors, instead of just messers. That are committing this stress. Just to make a mess. Oh 
dear. It seems as though we not only have a cropping problem, but apparently he's attempting to pull the no-you card again here. I think I've said my piece in regards to that, so let's just keep this going. As the queers are the ones who are responsible for missing my life and queers. I would like to ask a few questions here. Number one, how do you know this? Are you even subscribed to him at all? Suppose if he was featured in a video that discussed this topic on him, and he added it to a playlist of some sort or another, and you were just too blind to see it. Number two, at what point did any of them repeat the same thing in regards to the person in the video? As far as I know, they were not only discussing the exchange of PMs that Realm Wars II exchanged with them, but they were also pointing out how flawed this guy really is by using some overused sound clips and equally overused special effects, not to mention that this guy has some major league self-esteem issues, i.e. him being all emo-ish and shit amongst other issues, as well as him being a tremendous double-talking cunt swab of the internet. Actually, hang on a second. Here's a mirror. Take a look into it sometimes, because the same thing applies directly to you. People just don't get the point. They get thrown into the joint. Before you go, however, I would like to answer thusly. Your attempts at putting together a cognitive response here was absolutely shit. It was shittier than shit. It was shit that was puked out of Satan's asshole, which shit out a bigger piece of shit, which sprouted out hundreds of maggot-infested penises pissing out streams of blood. The simple fact that you chose to go out of your way and respond to everyone who took a giant dump on your so-called opinion was outright pathetic. It only made you out to be a bigger pockmarked Pickwickian Addercop Apple John Twunt nozzle that the likes of us have never seen. Perhaps this should be a sign that you were never really cut out for this sort of thing in the first place. If you decide to issue a video response to this, then go right on ahead. It'll only perpetuate the laughter until everything comes crashing down on your head like a ton of bricks. Enjoy yourself now, funny guy. It's only a matter of time, as they say. Time that you do not have much love left in all actuality. In any case, I'm ending the video here since... Well, you've already seen it for yourself. It's puerile at best. Terrible at least. This has been Blister Blood saying, Fare thee well, children of the night, and may the moon's glow shine down on the enlightened. Mm -hmm.